the gate to hell. The last of them all will soon be open. All of the end Magnus will be free. And the end of the world will begin. The great darkness will awaken. And chaos will ensue. <laughs> Well, that's not what you want you. Blah blah blah. Great start, Wishy. That's not what you want to hear. Both that and my ramblings at the beginning of an episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Baden Kaido's Eternal Wings in the Lost Ocean. I am Wishblade, and over there's Mitaka, and down here is Asa Village, where we shall be going. Well, hello there, everybody. This place looks weird. What is up with the weird spires and towers or whatever you want to call them? Also, we're in the desert. I don't like the desert. Ow. Hey, Callus. What's up? What are we doing? Where's everyone else? Nowhere to be found. Oh, there you are. What a dreary village. Oh, yes. It used to be more lively. Really? So what happened? You heard about it in Mintaka, right? About Operation Sweep. But what exactly did happen? Aza used to be well known for its mining of iron ore. They would mine from lava caves and sell their goods to the capital. But about a year ago, the villagers reduced their shipments to the Empire a great deal. The reason being simple fatigue from working day after day in such harsh conditions. Before that, the people of Aza filed countless claims about the terrible working conditions. But the Empire completely ignored them. Enraged at the villagers' defiance, the Emperor ordered his army to execute all dissidents. Kill the troublemakers to spark up a little motivation, was the order if I recall. Oopsie daisy, I did it again. That's typical me. Fire! Soldiers! I objected to the mission, but the mission, known as Operation Sweep, was carried out as planned. Now this village is... well, just look around. I led the operation myself. We wiped out all those in rebellion against the Empire. Oh really? What? That means... Savina, you were head of the Mad Wolf unit? Sounds cool. I heard Lady Death has been hiding out in Anuinui. You mean, the one they used to call Killing Machine? Yeah, you heard about it too, right? The Emperor and his troops supposedly went to Anuinui to carry out part of some secret plan. Some of the troops apparently saw Lady Death out there. Are you serious? It's been over two years since she disappeared. That must have been someone else. But look, over there. Huh? What is it? What? It can't be. Let's get out of here. Okay, bye. What was that all about? We'd better hurry. Savina, are you? Lady Death of the Mad Wolf Unit. Is that who you are? Oh boy! What's that? Savino, were you really a member of something called the Mad Wolf Unit? Cool. Although probably not so cool as it sounds and everything. Probably still totally terrifying. Hey, hold up a minute. Savina, you told us you were not an Imperial soldier back in Inui Nui. Because I no longer am. That's all in the past. What? But why didn't you tell us? It's not something I'm proud of. <gasps> Makes sense. Huh? What do you want? You want a secret from the past? Great Mizuti. Well, I guess I'm saying things. It, it, it really isn't. If she doesn't want to talk about it, you know, uh, no. Let's just keep going. But... Silence. Callus, 
Silence? He's right. Yes, I'm always right. Let's not talk about it anymore. We should just focus on getting to the lava caves. Gelderblame could be unsealing the last end Magnus as we speak. And that would not be good. All right. Silence. Shella, let's move on. Okay. But Savina, I never even suspected that you were Lady Death. It's hard for me to talk since I don't know your whole story. But that mission was just... That's enough, Leo. Everyone's done something they're not proud of. No use digging it up now. People have got to take responsibility for what they've done. If Savina has something she's got to make right, let her do it her own way. So wise. I see what you're saying, but... Dude! Very well. The lava caves are through the village towards the back. All right, then. Let's go! Yes! God damn it! We got blazes to make, worlds to save. All right then. So, now what is it that I, I want to do? I want to examine something. Or I also go over here. Hi, hi. Sure. I also want to examine some stuff, but okay. I guess I will. I will listen to you guys talk first. I should also do a little bit of cutting at some point so I can have a good excuse to. Um, Start a new recording session, or not session, another recording bit. Because right now I'm still doing the same thing from fighting Jacobo, Amy, and Forlorn three times. And yes, it was three times, it wasn't more than that, so third time was indeed the charm. Well, guys, would you kindly stop talking so I can move on and stuff and do things? Please, it's all at once, god damn it. I'm also very worried about the length of the previous episode and me not starting my timer proper, so I have a feeling, for one thing, it is definitely very, very long, but another is that I probably have to edit out some of the battle a little bit more, even though that's not too bad, because obviously there were obvious points where it's like, okay, this is not gonna end well at all, so, eh, damn it. Okay, fine, it's not over there that I need to do things. Fine, okay, I guess I'll do it somewhere else and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go examine stuff over here then or something. Hello, is it over here? Also, kids, kids, stop following me. Why would you do it? If I do something nice for the kids. Oh, well, maybe I'll do something nice for the kids at some point. Oh, fine, I'll take a hike, okay, fine. Hello. Is this the thing? No. I don't know, man. The thing is, the need to look at, or if it is even here, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe I just need to go inside then. Also, I'll first want to go this way. Why? Because I feel like it. And kids, you just stay behind there. That's that's okay. Hello there. I am I am very happy to be at your shop. Yes, I am. Now I will probably want to sell some stuff. Do I have pictures? I am fairly certain I might have some pictures. Somewhere. Right here. That is a something. You sure about that? Yes, I am. I am very sure about that. Also, the Imperial Walker. Not that one, though. And Amy. Your picture is not very worth much. I'll leave, I'll leave it for a bit. Because there, it might be just another case of you just gotta wait a little bit. But whatever. Mohawk birdie! I must have this because it's a mohawk. I'll have that. Coffin shield, don't care, that's not new. And the claws, I'll take it. And the white scepter, I'll also take it. Death pendulum, I will take it as well. And then all the usual things. And you know why, because the usual things have shish kebab. Shish kebab. Shush, 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 kebab, blah, blah. Yes, I like it. Very, very good. What? That is enough of that. Now let's go right inside here and see what we can find. Yoo-hoo! Hi. Hello. Bye. I guess. Alright, well. Never mind. Okay. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe the thing that I'm looking that I was looking for outside is something that I need to find in here. I can't exactly remember because my notes are not being very specific. Sabina, there's something you're not telling us. You're not feeling too great about something. I can, I can tell on the look of your face. 
Yahoo! There it is! There's the thing I looked for! The green tea! And then I believe I want to go upstairs. Maybe. Do I want to go this way? No, I don't want to do anything there. That's just a wall. Maybe later there won't be a wall. Eh? Eh? Maybe? I don't know. Now let's see what else we can find. Yo! Is there stuff? What? I do not need the essence of what did it say? Rock salt. No. I do not need rock salt right now. No. I want to find other goodies all over the place. Yo! Where are all the goodies? There's some of the goodies. Crimson oak blossom thing. And then there is uh, something somewhere. I think there's something somewhere. Hello. Is there something? What I'm doing here? I don't know. Busy? I don't care. I'm looking for stuff. There it is. The sculpting knife. Thank you very much. And then maybe over here. Yeah, we go. That's the way to do it. Hello. I'll take this. It is Constellation Magnus, Lepus, Lepus, something, whatever. Now we go somewhere else. Everybody, everywhere. Hi. Okay, I guess I'll just stand here. A winglet? No, I'm not from the Empire. Well, he yes, he has a uniform. Maybe he should change out of that, but meh, he looks good in it. That... No, we didn't kill them. The Empire did. Oh, boy. Oh. Are you the defender of this tower? No. I didn't. Okay. I I, I guess. Bye. All right. We're, no. Okay. Fine. I guess we'll be going now. Yeah. That, that's probably what we should be doing. Other than... Well, try to invade the home of people who don't like us, clearly. Why don't you like us? Listen to us, goddammit. But why would you listen to my whiny voice? I don't know. Okay. And... Uh, yeah, I believe it just needs to go all the way down now. And then we can continue on to something else entirely. And that will be so very great. Get out of our village, you murderer. Okay. I'm guessing you're talking to Savina, considering she was here, apparently. Fire! I'm ruining the moment. Apparently the flower was still there. At, at least that didn't burn up. Hi. It's so loud. Daddy! Ow? That is just not okay. Okay, I will, I will, yeah, you should not be proud of that. You punch a little kid in the face. And it's not okay. And I, and apparently, yeah, she, something, snap out of it. We're on a mission here. Don't let your emotions interfere. But she punched a kid in the face. And she knows it. Sabina, hey. She is fully aware of how fucked up that is. You do not punch kids in the face. Generally, you don't punch anyone in the face or punch them at all. But a kid? Hey, Savina. You alright? In the face? No! Don't do it! Let's go. Yeah. Onwards. Bye again. Well, that's just sad. Hey! What's gotten into you, Savina? What are you doing? I... I can't let you pass! Why not? Stand aside. My own battle is waiting up ahead. If you don't move, I'll be forced to remove you. Uh-oh. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. There you go. The power of persuasion. Hi. We'll just go this way. Bye. Okay, well, I guess we're in the mines now or something. Kind of looks like a mine. So, this is it. Pretty soon we'll see the final end Magnus. And then the world will be saved. Thanks for your help. Silence. What? We couldn't have gotten this far without you. Oh. Well, thank you. 
Don't mention it. Don't get all mushy on me. I don't know. Um. Nah. Well, you know, I defeated Giacomo and avenged Gramps and Fee. I couldn't have done that without your help. Once the Five and Magnus are together, my final wish will be granted. Then our journey together will come to an end. Huh? What? What wish? Tell us. Silence. Our journey has just begun. Don't forget that. Ever. Huh? Yeah. You're right, Shella. Heroic music! We can stop Gelda Blame from unsealing the Fifth End Magnus. And then we take back others. Understood? Listen up, troops. No one goes down without permission. Keep up or go home. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Sounds like a plan. Let's get going. Yes, sir. And the heroic music stopped. And turned into the mirror music. What the hell? Okay, fine. This isn't the lava caves. All right, whatever. I guess we'll go inside then. Yoo-hoo. Why is there a skull? And also, re really, Callus, what, what wish? What? It won't budge. If we can't even get through the door, it's hopeless. That's just typical. Young man, sorry to meddle, but that winglet on your shoulder, wasn't that crafted by a man named Georg? Yes? Yeah. He was my grandfather. Who are you? I knew it. I could tell right away. In all the world, no one but Georg would be able to make such a thing. I haven't seen him in ages. How's he doing these days? Wait. Did you say he was your grandfather? Yeah. Yes. He died two years ago. Died? Georg is dead. Are you sure about that? Now he's dead too. Well, I think so. There was a fire. Hey, listen. Why don't you come to my place? There's so much I'd like to talk about. Thanks for the offer. But we're in a hurry. You don't have time to hear about the good old days. Come on. I know you want to get through this door. Those Imperial imbeciles charged in my cave all of a sudden and just did as they pleased. I'll take care of them in a little bit. But first, come to my place. Fine, sure, I guess we will. Hmm, what a strange detour we'll have. Alright, well, let's go this way then. Hi, what are you doing? What is all this? Oh, really? I'm guessing you have. So what do you want? Once upon a time, I worked under your grandfather, Georg. This is his hometown, you know. Ever since he was a boy, he'd make various devices, gizmos, contraptions, you name it. I'd never met such a skilled mechanic in all my life. He was a quiet man who kept to himself most of the time. And there was something rather mysterious about him. Can you tell me more? It must have been more than 20 years ago that he just picked up and left and disappeared without a trace. Right around that time, strangers began to show up to visit with him. The visits became quite frequent, and the conversations were quite long. I knew right away that they were soldiers from Mintaka. Georg must have been evaluated by the Empire for his mechanical skills. I believe they took him in. It's only logical the Empire would want him considering his extraordinary talent. Everyone here thought so. I remember Georg had a 13-year-old son at that time named... Giacomo, if my memory serves. Later I heard through the grapevine that the boy signed up with the Imperial troops. Not sure if it's true or not. If you claim that Georg was your grandfather, does that make you Giacomo's boy? Maybe? No way! Don't make me sick! I have nothing to do with that filthy coward! Hmm. You must have your reasons for saying that. Since that news, I hadn't heard hide nor hair of Georg or Giacomo. 
most of the villagers have probably forgotten about them. Oh, and what about Larrakish? He left together with Georg. I wonder how he's doing. Larrakish was a talented doctor. I remember he and Georg were the best of friends. They would often get together and talk about complex theories and whatnot. Oh, really? Larry Kush? That name sounds familiar. Where have I heard that? I know! Hey. Silence. Does the name Larry Kush ring a bell with you? Oh, yes! It's the first person we ever fucking met! God damn it! Really? I'm impressed. Where did you hear about him? Well, God, Callus, you dumb dumb, Savoy, the very beginning. Oh yeah, it's the doctor from Savoy Village. I'm sure his name was Larry Kush. You have a good memory. Silence. I know. I'm autistic. It's part of being me, I guess. Well, maybe not that. I don't know. I just remember certain things. But does that mean that doctor knew Georg? He knew my grandfather? I guess. So it seems he's alive and well. If you ever run into him again, please tell him hello for me. From the mechanic. Will do. By the way, sir, the door. Yeah, we need your help. I know. Onwards, everybody. Or get the key or something. I thought it was around here somewhere. It takes a bit of a trick to get that door open. Oh, really? How so? Here it is. What is it? A key? Or something? A contraption? A cog? A gear? What? I'll go get the door ready. Follow me. Okay, well off you go then, bye. Have fun with the door, and I will loot your... I don't know... Laboratory? Your workshop? Your something? I see treasure chest! Dream Blade! Level 6 finisher for Callus! How very wonderful. And again, Callus, what did you mean when you said your final wish and stuff? What? 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 I don't get it. What? Did you have a change of heart or something about saving the world? And now it's like, I want to save the world to make it a better place, and that's my final wish? Because if that's the case, all right, why didn't you tell me? And awesome, I guess. Onwards, everybody. Yo, sir, have you opened the door? Ta-da! Well, thank you for your assistance. There you go. I won't ask what you're aiming to do back in there. Just be careful. Okay. We will. Thank you, sir. All right, everybody. Onwards to the final battle. Well, there's definitely lava in here. That's very wonderful. It's the fire level. It sounds as though the doctor we heard about in Mintaka really was your grandfather, Kellis. Yeah. Seems like it. But what was he doing in Mintaka? Working for the Empire? Maybe against his will? Potentially. I also see you giant bug up there. I don't like you. But what I do like is this lava. I will very much want some of this lava because I need it to age for about 30 minutes. So that is great. Now, what is it that I need to do? Well, I want to get a whole bunch of magnets. So you know what? Let's just get more lava. And then I guess I don't have any more room because now there's a wee little bit of a side quest. Remember the guy said something about doing good things for the kids or whatever? That's something we can do by giving them Magnus and it really doesn't matter what kind of Magnus and apparently they're starving so that's the thing so you can give them anything and let's see this one I'd, I'd like to keep that one I'd like to keep because I can't get it again that one I think it's okay to give them the Royal Crest because I don't think we need it until a long time into the future where we can get it again from the wall and everything so have a royal crest and that whatever the hell it is vinegar thing that I that I've got carried around for a while that I guess I didn't need for anything yeah you can have that too there you go have some vinegar have fun with that 
And there's also the this. I'm holding on to that because I need it to age. I don't want to, uh, to let to let it go. No, the golden pickaxe. You can also get that again by killing all the slimes in the torn and opening the chest again. Then you should be able to get it again. So there you go. Have that. I am not in any need of it at the moment. And finally, the one one of the ways you could do this by going to just get the lava or rock salt up in, I don't know, the tower building place. Just do this until you've given them, for one, 13 total items, and secondly, 21 total items. So, I will just actually, hmm, you know what, I should maybe just do that, take care of some of the church business, maybe, and then, and you know what, I'll just take care of this, and I will also take care of the church business, and then probably end the episode there. So onwards, we're giving them a bunch of lava. Alright then, that should be the last of lava I have given to those goddamn kids. So, sir, yes, I am indeed one in a million, so you should definitely do something for me. Thank you, secret recipe number seven, for giving them 21 items, and... Maybe, no. You're not gonna get me Mephistopheles cloak. Or maybe you're only gonna give me that if I talked to you earlier. So maybe that's the thing. I did not know this, but let's see if going in and out of this place might change your mind. Are you gonna give me something or did you give it to me in secret? Oh, no. Well, bugger all then, fine. I guess I'll just go to the church then and deliver some of those constellation Magnus. Hello there, sir. I got some constellations for you. Yes, I have. And I want you to have them. Here you go. I got a bunch. Three of them. Not at all. Up they go upon the star map. And... Now what? It's a aura. And then... I don't know. Something. It was Lepus, alright, and the one that I got in the workshop that I didn't really mention because I was busy talking about. The Wish of Callus, Serpents. You're quite welcome. Now give me Magnus. I need Magnus for my final battle and everything. Thank you. What is it? Magic Bean's death, don't really care. Voice 5, don't really care. And Jumbo Pastry. Oh my goodness, nope, there's nothing else you can do for me, but I do want to know what that jumbo pastry does. And Kibari, I know you're dead and everything, but just hold out for a bit. Hold out for a bit. You'll be you'll be back on your feet very, very soon. Is it something I can use in here? No, it is not fine. Whatever. In that case, I don't really know jumbo pastry. Where are you? There you are. Increases something in battle and everything. Well, then it is very boring to me. Now, I will do the leveling and also continue to let this wee little lava age. We'll probably do some of the lava caves while while it does, probably. Because we need it here in Asa, so... It's it's very, it's in, 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 in the next episode. Okay, it's fine. But I will do the leveling, then we will move on, and that will be in the next episode, obviously. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see ya later.